smile yes. at a time, yes. one family at a time. Well, you're just so fantastic, and I know that these people all want to ask you many questions. Um, yes, sir. Sorry. Oh, you're, you're the questioner. That's great. Hi, Ms. Downey. This is such a bucket list moment to uh, meet you. Um, you've had such an impact on my life through your characters, Monica and Touched by an Angel, and it was always my soul's dessert on Sunday evenings to watch that show with my family. And so it's so nice to have another show to watch starting now. Um, my question is, as a young Jewish adult, um, I've been you know, struggling with faith and spirituality and really figuring out who I am and you know, having that connection that you do. Um, do you have any suggestions on how my generation really can do that? We're all so digital, we're all on the dating sites, we're all glued to our phones. And even my temple recently, after many years, shut its doors. And you know, it's like, there's, I'm the wandering Jew. <laughs> um, and, you know, just wondering what you have, response you may have. Well, I think that you're, th thank you, um, thank you for your question. And I think that to your point of the overstimulation of the world that we live in, you know, I think we're bombarded with, with uh, noise, aren't we? It's like with our, and we're all s filled with distraction. And the only thing I would encourage you, if you're really interested in a, in a relationship with, with the um, Almighty, is to take some quiet time. You know, I think we have to s be still and listen, and um, and that sometimes means just stepping away from the noise and putting down the, the um, the computers and the phones and 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 I find you know what while I've had many wonderful experiences in church, I find that nature can really. Um, be you know the, the the best a walk by the ocean or a climbing a mountain or you know elevating, but I think be still. I I think that we have each within us. We all have the capacity to listen to that small voice within. You know that voice that tells you we the voice that tells you to what to do. You know when you ask, there's a knowing. I, I, I believe that's the God voice in each of us. And you see it illustrated in this show, Answered Prayers, because there's people who suddenly show up to rescue. And the, like the, those men in the car, the diver and the CPR medic, the guy said, I don't know why I was driving down that road. I never go down that road. Mm. Like I usually go the other way. But something told me that day to go down that road. And so I would, you know, to me, I said, well, what is that something? And that's something, and I can look back on my own life at the moments maybe when something told me not to do something, and I did it. And I did, for, you know, inevitably, the results were disastrous. And I can look back and say, I kind of always knew I probably shouldn't have done that. And so just to learn to listen, to like check in with that, with that voice. But my experience is that you have to be quiet to do so.